So in this lab, we'll be walking through essential GitHub commands that are required for the coursework and also we'll explore the process of setting up Git actions. So to start with, we'll be creating a GitHub repository from the UI and I'll be naming the GitHub repository to be the first lab. And I'll also add a readme file for the lab and I'll hit on create repository. Now the first lab repository has been created and the current working branch is the master branch which is provided by default and in the master branch we have one file which is the readme file. And now I'll try to re uh, the clone the first lab repository into my local machine. So currently I have created a git lab folder in my local machine and to inside that folder I'll be cloning my project. So for that I'll be using the command git clone along with the HTTPS URL, which I'll be getting it from here. So now, as you can see, the first lab has been cloned into our, uh, into our local machine and the first lab has the readme file. Now, to check on the current branch that we are working with, the command would be get branch but for that we'll be first navigating into the first lab so that could be using it first and now if i give the command for grid branch it says that the current working branch is master which indicates it's in a green color and now let me try to create a future branch where i'll be individually working on that branch and once once it's finalized i'll be merging that with the master branch so i'll be creating a new branch with the command get branch uh, any branch name of your choice for now I'll be naming it to be future a yeah now if we check the uh, head on get branch it's uh, it shows me that there are two branches which is master and future a where master is my current working branch in order to switch between the branches the command would be git checkout and then the branch uh, a desired branch name that you want to work on for now it would be future a now it says switch to the branch feature A and if I again hit on get branch, it shows that the feature A is the current bra working branch. So now this being my current working branch, now I'll try to add few files into this branch. So for now, I'll create a folder inside the first lab, which is going to be the source. And yeah, first source. So inside the source folder i will be adding the calculator.py file and also the labwin.py file and outside the source file i'll be adding a docker file and also a requirement.txt file so as you can see these are reflected over here and the red color indicates that these files are not being pushed into the github so currently my uh, working branch is the future a and now i'll be adding uh, the four files which is the calculator.py the lab one.tuy and the docker file and also the requirement.txt file so so let me re uh, refactor this file name which is the docker file yeah so i'll be pushing all these files into it uh, so the command for that would be git add space dot so which indicates that the all files would be added into that future branch and if you want to add any spe uh, specific uh, file you can just give git add and with the file name so the files have been added and we need to commit this to the branch so it should be git commit with the commit message says files Add to future A branch, and now once the file changes have been committed to reflect it into the branch, we need to push these changes. So that could be git push origin future A the branch name. So once if we give the password, yep. So all these have been pushed into the branch and we can check these from here so now as you can see there are two branches over here master and the feature a and if you go into the feature a you can see the source the docker file the readme and then the txt 
so now this is how we'll be adding files into the uh, github repository and now if we need to pull the changes like uh, suppose let's say that if you make a uh, change to the file over here into the master branch so let's say that we have uh, up updated the readme file over here and we need to get the latest version from the repository to the local machine we will be using the pull request command so let's try to update this readme file so i'll be adding a file upload file and i'll be choosing that from my desktop so yeah this will be my new file so as you can see this is the new file and it has been updated so now let me go back to the repo, uh, the local machine and now i'll be changing the branch to my master branch i'll just say git checkout master so currently i'm with the master branch and with the master branch now i'll be trying to pull everything from the master branch i'll just say git pull so it will pull the latest changes from it so it says that one file has been changed so if you can uh, now check on this file the file has been updated now let's try to merge the files in the future branch a with the master branch so for that uh, since now we are into the master branch so we'll be using the command git merge and then the desired branch name that we want to merge with the feature branch so that would be uh, git merge and the branch name which is going to be feature a so it says that it needs the commit so uh, the commit uh, message for the branch would be merge branch feature a to the master branch and for that I'm giving it to VWQ to save this and exit. So now if you can see the master branch has been merged with the future branch. Uh, we can check it from here. So let me refresh this. And if you see into the master branch. So it's been merged and for that to be reflected over here, we need to do a git push so let's say git commit first with the message merged with future branch future a branch and now let's say git push origin master So now if we can see over here, so, so all the files from the future A branch has been reflected and to be merged with the master branch. So now as we can see, we have the source and inside source, we have the calculator.py and the labwin.py and we also have added the Docker file and also the readme file and then the requirements.txt. So yeah, this is the way in which we create a repository, clone it into the local machine and add the files and do a push and also merge. So we need to be careful while pushing and merging the changes between the branches. So there could be some merge conflicts which can be resolved uh, by carefully observing what is going wrong with them. And now let's try to set up uh, uh, what we call to be a GitHub action. So the GitHub action will be created from here. So the GitHub action workflow is like actually designed to automatically uh, build something when there is a push or a pull to the master branch. So the GitHub action that we are going to set up today is just going to build, uh, build a Docker image into the Docker hub when the changes are pushed into the master branch or where a pull, mystery, a pull requests are being made to the master branch. So. So we'll be uh, going through set up the workflow yourself option and then uh, the file can be created over here. So for that I have already created a file. So which would be publish.yaml. So let me just open the file. So yeah. So this is the uh, file that have been created. So let me just copy this. Yeah. So if you can see, 
uh, for the GitHub action that I've created, Git action, I have named it to be build and push image the Docker to the Docker. So that is the name that I have give, given for that. And this section is called the event triggers and it says on push for the branches of the master and also for the pull request on the branch of the master. So this is where the event is being triggered. So it just defines the event that is being triggered in the workflow. It, it runs whenever the changes are pushed to the main branch or when pull requests are made to the main branch. And the job it's going to do is like to build it. So defines a job name build within the workflow and it also specifies that the job uh, should be run on a Ubuntu latest runner and use the latest available version on the Ubuntu runner. And it also says that the actions checkout is used to check out the repository's code. So this step ensures uh, that the workflow has access to the code base. And now first it's going to uh, create a Docker login. And so later in this part, we'll be creating a Docker user and the Docker password environment variables, which will be used here as a secrets. And, and later we'll be uh, giving up this, the name build and push image. So which is going to be that and the Docker image is built and pushed to the Docker hub with this command. So the first command usually goes with the Docker image build the this the uh, DRAG6 would be the owner name of the Docker account and the Docker image is going to be the tag of the image that I'm created and the latest is going to be the versionizing point for it. And I'm pushing the same thing into the Docker hub. So we'll be learning what the Docker hub, what a Docker is going to be in the next labs. But for now, the GitHub action is what is going to do is on every push or the pull request onto the master branch, it's going to generate a new image and it's going to put that image into the Docker hub. So with this being done, and if I commit change, uh, I'll name the file to be of my choice so i'll name it to be pub published.yaml so i'm just creating it so yeah now if you can see the file has been created under github slash workflows and inside that we have the published.yaml and if you go into the actions this is the action that we have created build and publish image docker and since there is a new push into this it's running and as you can see it just got failed because we haven't added the secrets yet so in order to add the secrets so basically which is going to be the environment variable we're going to secrets and variables and into the actions and we'll be adding the environment secrets so environment secrets it's going to be the docker a docker user and uh, it would be with your required name that you want to be with and also in the same way we'll be adding the docker password and also the password so in order to get where you'll be uh, if you're wondering where you'll be getting this you need to install the docker onto your system which we'll be uh, using into the uh, next labs that we'll be coming up with and uh, the docker user is just going to be the login credentials that would be used to log into the docker so let me add my uh, details over here so i have uh, added the docker password and the docker user environment variables into my repository and if i go into the actions i'll just try to rerun this action again so this action is getting run now So
see as you can see now the job has been succeeded so first what it creates is it creates up the job and it checks for the actions checkout where it can get access to the code base now it gets logged into the docker and then it builds the image and pushes the image into the docker hub so this is how uh, a git action works and we can also create a git actions for writing up the pi test cases and the unit test cases in order to check whether the code is working properly or not but in the future labs we'll be working with all of that